I want to rise today to congratulate and commend all those involved in the running of the 19th National Coursing Meeting in Clonmel, which was held over two weekends due to bad weather. Uh, it finished last weekend, started the weekend before. And I want to particularly commend those who were involved in the hair husbandry over the period of time, which turned out to be a number of weeks. Uh, f fantastic crowds turned out to, the, to this occasion and some fantastic sport was seen. However, there is a, a, another issue happening around Clonmel and indeed many counties across the country that holds Corson, namely Clare and Limerick and Waterford and Kilkenny, just to name a few. What we are seeing is we are seeing gangs of unscrupulous characters coming in onto the lands where open courses are being arranged for stealing hares, destroying hares, and leaving land and property utterly destroyed. This matter was brought to my attention by a long-standing coursing uh, enthusiast, Councillor Andy Maloney from CARE. He informed me that damage has been done both to hares and to land right across the southeast by gangs of people who were robbing these hares, some cases killing them for their own enjoyment, with groups of dogs who are unlicensed and shouldn't be carried in any vehicle. Now, the reason I'm raising question this issue... Leader. Yes, I'm coming to the question. Thank you, Phil. The reason I'm raising this issue is that on the books for the spring term is the Greyhound Amendment Bill. And I think it's very important that the leader would bring this to the attention of Minister Hayes with responsibility so that we can look at some type of a system whereby each dog that is licensed is also given a notice for the vehicle that they're being carried in. This system is in use in England and the UK police, when they stop a suspicious vehicle, if they don't see the sign up and the notice up in the car, they can actually impound the dogs in the cars. We need to move on this and we need to move on it fast.